What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this Bant Cat Tribal list. Uh, so far, if you missed video one, first of all, please go check it out. But uh, we unfortunately have not had good luck with this one so far. We are 0-3. So we are just looking to get a win. That is all we're looking for. We will, of course, summarize the deck at the very end as well. So you'll get to see my thoughts on it at least. Um, but so far, I've got, I've got a few theories uh, and things like that. But I, I think that this is... Um, a really interesting issue that we're running into but we'll we'll talk about that in just a bit uh i don't love this hand but let's keep it it's kind of a boring starting hand but i think um again for reasons that i will talk about after this uh i think there are reasons for that that i uh i don't really like um but that's okay we'll talk about that after the fact so let's go ahead let's pull out a green source here um I do find that using the flower over the flourish is a little bit more important unless you're in a winning position. I don't really love this card, period. Um, I think it's just kind of okay. It's like deck thinning and that's it. Uh, but it is what it is. So let's do this. Uh, next turn, we'll, uh, we'll icon probably. Uh, we really don't have a lot of threats here. Which is a little unfortunate, but Icon can, can definitely help us get some more, which is great. Uh, but chances are this deck is already kind of doing its thing uh, with the Witch's Oven combo. So we are not in great shape, I'll be honest. And that's okay. We'll figure it out. Croxa, yeah, you got it. Um, I'm going to discard an island here. I know we take three, but I don't think we can really afford to lose many of our cards. Primal Might might have been okay to lose, but... Uh, given that they have Witch's Oven, that card is devalued very, very heavily. Um, let's do this, and we're going to name cats. Uh, do, 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 cats. There we go. So at the very least, we can start pulling out some things. We also have Kahira as an option here at some point where we can, um, we can just pull that into our hand and then start using it. But uh, Companion being nerfed the way it has uh, makes a lot of sense, but... Um, it is interesting. Uh, I think it's very difficult to to really get the companion thing to work. Uh, though I will say, in this case, it's kind of just a nice add-on. It's just like, wow, we have drawn so many lands. It's kind of just nice to be able to say, yeah, if we need it, we've got it. Um, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Let's get a green source here. Let's get a Johnny out. I'm just going to start gaining a little bit of life here. Unfortunately, we're doing this kind of backwards. Ideally, we'd like to have the creatures out first, but now we're getting all the uh, all the background pieces kind of in, and then, you know, hopefully getting some, some creatures out at some point here. Uh, the Labyrinth Raptor is an interesting card. I played a Menace Tribal deck when Akoria was released, and I did not like it. Um, I found it to be a bit slower. Uh, you know, you're, when you're looking at, like, a Menace Aggro deck, you're like, Okay, it's an aggro deck, so chances are you want it to win as quickly as possible, but it just wasn't winning quickly enough. Um, it was fine. It wasn't like it was terrible. It just, I didn't really feel like it was doing what it needed to do. Um, let's go ahead and get this down. We, do, we don't have anything to target with Elspeth Conqueror's death yet. Uh, we effectively, we know we will, uh, because they have a Croxa and they've got a Lurus. So, like, chances are we'll have something, but we're just not there yet. Uh, this, it has to be, uh, convert a mana cost three or greater, and we're not there, so. Or I sh rather, the opponent is not there. Yep. Yep, yep. Um. Oh, that's mean. That's so mean! Um, yeah. You got it. I think we just die. Wow, okay, yeah, we have drawn so many lands. That was a bit of a flood, um, but that's fine. We'll get out. Still no wins with this deck. I think that says a lot. We're dropping down in tiers, too. Look at this. All right, let's get into game two. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, my goal is to get one win. 
Um, but I do, I think I've pegged down the biggest issue with this deck, at least. Uh, and that's really that it just has nothing to do. Um, in the early turns of the game, there's, until you get to turn three, there is not much you're doing. Um, and the problem with that is a lot of other decks have a lot to do early. Uh, and that's a problem. So <sighs> I'm going to keep, I don't like it, but I'm going to keep it. It's they mulligan. So, Hey, maybe we have a, maybe we have a shot, <laughs> uh, lead on the breeding pool here. Gets us both colors there. We do need a white mana for a Johnny at some point here, but we'll get there. Hopefully. Wow. That would have been a great play. Um, if we had white mana. Inconsistencies. I don't like that. Uh, and maybe this is just a bad keep, but it did have uh, a decent three drop here, so I decided to keep it there. Chances are we're gonna lose that three drop. If they've got Domery's ambush or something, we're we're pretty we're pretty screwed, <laughs> to be honest. <clears throat> nice. Wow, okay. Um still no white mana. <laughs> Just get it out there. We have to. Not we can't just sit around and like put Kahira in our hand, for instance, because this is an aggro deck. So, um, Primal Might hopefully will come in handy, and it looks like it will. So that's good. Uh, if nothing else, it gets rid of the creature, which is just helpful. Um, in fact, what we're gonna do is we're only gonna give it plus one. It's going to make it, obviously, a 3-4. Can deal with that, no problem. Let's get this down. I know we're hitting to ourselves here, but let's just do this. There is a world where... Oh, this can't be destroyed, I wish. Um, there is a world where Skycat Sovereign really starts to take over uh, if they can't kill a lot of our stuff. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a bit tricky. Uh... Ajani also theoretically going to be helpful here, but I think I'm in the game plan of just starting to spit out a bunch of cats. I think we kind of have to just to spread things out a little bit. Um, and I'm wondering if they've got much to do. It doesn't look like they've got a land, uh, which is interesting. Thankfully, we do. We have plenty. <laughs> um, cultivate. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. They spend their turn cultivating. That's perfect. Um, I think we will lean on Skycat Sovereign to just like start pumping out some tokens here. I think that might be the better play. Uh, it also avoids getting cards in our graveyard, which against Clothis is really important. So, wow, as good as Kahira is, I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Again, this doesn't matter. I wish really badly that we could kill this. <laughs> um, yeah. That is annoying that they get to shoot us. Uh, Clothis is just like a super good card, let me just say. Wow, very nice. Yeah, dude, you got it. Um, hmm. Well, they did not attack. They can't give it reach. That's part of why they didn't attack. Um, do we just start a Johnnying or do we do this? Hmm. Or do we just do this? All of these are options. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to keep spreading things out a little bit here. Um, I understand that some of these other cards are going to be higher value, but uh, this kind of staves off a lot on the opponent's end, so I'm just going to do this and hold back. I don't like holding back here, I will say that, but again, uh, eventually Clothis becomes a major problem on his own, so that's not going to be good. Um, but now they are out of gas in the graveyard at least, so there's not much they're going to be able to do. Um, we'll see. I don't know how I feel about this matchup, I'm not going to lie. I don't feel great about it. Wow. Yeah, that's super good. That's super, super good. Okay. Sure. What? What a strange card to just have. That's so good against us. <laughs> what in the world? 
Yeah. Dang. That's so good. They can kill this. Man. We're just not getting there with this deck, guys. That's all I'm saying. And now they have fuel, by the way, for Clothis, which is not good. Ugh. Bad. Bad, sad, bad. Um, and they have reach on, like, these two at least, so. Uh, yeah. Um, we can't even play that. That's so unhelpful. Um. This feels so terrible. I mean, might as well. I think this is the right play, but it just sucks that we have to do this. Um, do we attack with other stuff? No, I don't think so. This doesn't have reach. It can just bounce this and kill this. Excuse me, not... These just bounce off of each other. Um, chances are, yeah, they just don't block here. But that gets rid of Clothis. Uh, for the time being, I should say, because chances are they just play one thing and then they're fine. Um, yep. Yep, yep. Ugh. If we had a white source, we could actually deal with Clothis. Clothis, excuse me. Uh, but we just don't have it. Yep. Yep, yep. You got it. This does not have reach. That's important. Ugh. Bad. Sorry for the frame rates, by the way, guys. Hmm. I mean, they may have a spell to kill the Feline Sovereign. But I'm going to take the chance because we kind of need a Johnny. <laughs> They probably have something here, but like these just bounce off of each other otherwise. They're playing real slow. Wait for it. Wait for it. N now. Uh, n now. Well. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. <laughs> Hope you guys are having fun. Um, also, uh, I just want to mention as well, um, I know uh, whether you're, however you feel about this whole like COVID pandemic thing, um, I just want to mention, please stay safe. Uh, I know things seem to be on the rise, at least where we are. Um, and so I, I don't want to see anybody getting sick or endangering anybody or anything like that. I just want to... Uh, want to make sure everybody's staying safe so please please by all means uh do what you need to do but stay safe and um be respectful of other people i think that's such an important thing that unfortunately not a lot of people i think fully understand is that it's not necessarily whether you feel you need to you know a, a lot of this is just about keeping everybody safe um because we all need to stay safe and we all need to be there for each other at this point um and unfortunately, that's not easy to do, but, you know, it's what we need to do. So as a collective, I think that that's very important. Uh, I'm going to gain three, honestly. I think we just have to. Um, we can't even do this and play this, which really sucks. So uh, I guess I can. I could have put this in my hand, but it just it is what it is. We get to deal two to us. Thanks to Clothis. Clothis eats Clothis. Yeah, dude. You got it. This is just a, like, a pro blue finanza. What in the world? Uh, yeah. That's so good. Against us. If we draw a white source, what can we do? Are we in okay shape? Not really. I mean, it's not terrible shape. We can kill this. This is hexproof, not pro. Let's be clear. Uh, this is pro blue. So this or this are really the cards we need to get rid of. Um, this is annoying, but we just can't target it with blue, so that's fine. Uh, 
it's just such a such a rough matchup. I think every matchup we're gonna we've had has been rough, but I think for good reason, not because we've been well, we have been against some jank decks, but I think uh I think there's more to it than this. This is a really well teched out um deck. I will say that. The opponent's playing very slow though, I will say. Sorry for the frame rates, guys. I keep saying that, but it's very slow. What? All of that and you give up? What? No, that's not how that should go. <clears throat> oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. They should have been able to kill me. That's kind of annoying. Um, I'm more annoyed because they had such a good board presence. I mean, we were getting there too, but <clears throat> they had every reason to keep going. That's kind of, that wasn't cool. It is what it is. Uh, hmm. I think we turn one this, get green, put this down, maybe grow spiral, or we can bronze hide lion. We'll kind of see what they do. But yeah, we'll lean on Fabled Passage here, I think. Sounds like a plan. Ooh, excuse me. It has been a long weekend. It's been a fun weekend, but it's been a long weekend. I haven't been crazy busy. It's just, um, like, making proxies yesterday was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to do some of that. We made Black Lotus. We finally made Black Lotus. It took us, like, a year. <laughs> but we did it. Um, we've done a lot of really cool proxies lately. Somebody asked for, I think it was uh, Crumpet in Discord, asked for uh, the, the Tamiyo proxy. Oh my gosh, did that turn out great. Crumpet. Great suggestion. Absolutely love that card. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, let's get green. I think that makes me want to lean on the bronze side line a little more. Ooh, or... No, I think it's bronze side line. Also, we actually should have played the hollow fountain there. That was a mistake, but... Um... My guess is they'll be able to play something else and then attack in here, and that's fine. Or they'll be able to clear the bronze side line and then just attack in that way. Uh, but if we stick the creature and this creature does stay, we have Primal Might, and that's where I really like Primal Might. All right. Um, we could zero this, couldn't we? Wait. Let's see how this works. Yo, that was cool. That was really cool. Also, I screwed up a little bit, but that's fine. That's really cool that you can do that. <laughs> uh, you can zero it. That's amazing. Um, I'm leaving this up. I'm pretending like I'm leaving this up because I need to indestructible my lion. The reality is I kind of messed up and I should have played this guy Cat Sovereign, but that's fine. Ooh, nice. Okay. Nice. Very cool, very cool. Um, hmm. Get rid of the creature. There we go. I think that's the right thing to do. Now, they can kill this. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's very good, actually. Yeah, that's the right call, I think. Um, is this creature or planeswalker? No, it's just creature. Ugh. I don't like that. Um, let's just do this. We'll throw this out there and we'll gain three. Um, not an amazing turn, to be honest, but it is what it is. Uh, next turn, if we draw a land, uh, we can Kahira. Wow. Terror of the Peaks. What a good card. 
I love Terror of the Peaks, actually. I really do. Uh, let's get this down. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. We literally, like, have to get rid of Terror of the Peaks, otherwise we just will die. Um, as much as I hate this, this is such a terrible thing to have to do. We can't let that stick. Um, if they have any creature, they just get to kill everything that we have. Uh, and us. So, <laughs> Terror of the Peaks is a must-kill card. Every time. Yeah, they can kill a Johnny. Sure. Makes sense. They got it. How in the world is that a plus ability? <laughs> that is so good. Uh, do we risk it? Sure. Why not? We're not in great shape anyway. <laughs> do we risk it again? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. That was awesome. Oh, gosh. Yep, you got it. That was wrong, by the way. I shouldn't have done what I did, but I think up until now we've played okay. Goodness gracious. No lands. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Just to get spread out threats here. <laughs> yep. You got it. You got it. Hey, guys. I think we're dead. <laughs> this is so good. If they just play more creatures, they can really power up Marauding Raptor. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got it. It does not matter which one I block. Ugh. Zero and six. Zero and six with Cat Tribal. Um, okay, well, all right, summing up thoughts on this deck. Uh, one, on the face of it, it actually looks really cool. Um, the synergy looks cool. Uh, and we do have a lot of lords and things like that, so I don't necessarily think that, like, the idea behind the deck is bad. I think the execution is bad. Um, I think there is not enough to do in the early turns of the game. There's also, like, very little way to remove anything. Um, in fact, there is almost no way to remove anything. Uh, we're, we're shopping at our deals here. Uh, the only thing that really... And it's not even removal, but the one thing that kind of helps is having the Vigilance Tapper. Um, but you have to, to really get that going. You need a lot. And so I just don't like this deck. I just don't think it's good. Uh, I'll be honest. I didn't mean to waste everybody's time. Uh, but... I think it's fun to try. I think this is a fun starting point. I think what we need to do is find a way to get a little bit more removal into it um, and just have a little bit more play on the early turns because consistently we've been waiting until turn three or turn four to do much of anything, uh, and that's not good enough. Uh, in today's standard especially, that's really not good enough. So that's just my take on it. Um, feel free, of course, to, to leave a deck suggestion down below if you have better ideas for this one. I'd love to see them. I do want to make Cat Tribal work. I also want to see a dog deck. Uh, so if you've got a dog deck, let me know. But uh, really do want to see those. So leave a, leave a deck list down below or go to our Discord. We've got a channel for that. Uh, and again, thank you to everybody in our Discord for being truly amazing people. Um, great community there. So thank you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon with the next gameplay video.